2K land, man. So check this out. It all started with a tweet from Mike Wong, my boy, your boy, that boy, Mike Wong. And he just says, listen, man, since some have asked, bye. Now, that's very telling there, man, because, you know, we already know what that symbol is. We know what it means. We already know what's going down. And we're going to talk about all that in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we trying to go to the moon, Alice. Also, new shirt alert. New shirt alert. Check this out, man. We have we got the new uh new shirt. Check this out. You go to breezetees.com, link down in the description, man. We got all the shirts for the for the females or what have you. Got that super daddy yo for the dance, man. Check this out. We just put this one up here. I work out so I can eat garbage. And so, like, hey man, we got the raccoon out there getting ready to rack up, man. So check it out. Hey, go there, check it out. Lots of stuff down there. If you don't like anything that we got, man, make sure you slide over here to the custom joints, man. You can just, just find you some custom, whatever whatever image you want to put on there, get it on there, size it up real nice. And then that's it, man. That's all you got to do. And without further ado, let's just get right into the video. So on the other day, Mike, he definitely put out a tweet. And the tweet that he put out, um, he he put out, it was uh, ripped to, we did the video on it. And it was it was this one. Uh, still, still hard at work on 2K24, but we'll talk soon. One small tidbit for now. And he's just saying like uh, quick drops. Now everybody interpreted this to be quick drops off one is taken away. But now that he came forward and he uh, and he hit us with this tweet, the limitless takeoff, uh, limitless takeoff has gone bye bye. I think that what he's saying is like in in the other tweet, obviously he was saying here, boom. Uh, say goodbye. We thought he was saying take about a quick drop off one, and but we didn't know how exactly they were going to fix it. I think that he was being more cryptic. Now that I'm looking at everything, I don't think quick drops off one is out of the game. I think he was saying say goodbye to this particular animation, and he wanted to see how everybody was going to react. And a lot of people reacted with why not take uh, you know quick drops not the problem. Uh, limited takeoff is the problem. But if you know anything about the game, you know that this badge gives you this animation. You're not getting that animation unless you got uh, Limitless Takeoff on like silver and, and you know what I'm saying, you're dunking most of the time or what have you. You gotta have Limitless Takeoff at least on silver or gold for that, that animation to pop most times. And so by taking Limitless Takeoff out of the game, we have effectively taken that animation out of the game. Not necessarily Quick Drops Off 1 is out of the game. I think it's still gonna be in the game, but there are two very effective animations that Quick Drop Off, uh, that uh, Limitless Takeoff gives you with quick drops off one. And that's the one where he go, wee, that one there. And then the one where he jumps and his head is up by the rim. And like, that's the one that you have absolutely no hope of, um, of, of, of blocking. But let's see what the community had to say about that, man. Because like I said, I feel like, I feel like this is a great move. Hey, that boy, J.A. Bridge for Stand up now and don't <laughs> face the sun. Time to do what must be done. Be a king when kingdom come. <laughs> Now you can tell everybody. Hey, look at this. This this is the rim runners now. God day, God day. Hey, um, now, now Swante says, do this to fades. And I will say this by the OG Grandmaster Sense say he's absolutely right. Because just like my boy Anonymous 2K TV says, when you can run back and forth, fade from three, from limitless three fade from anywhere pull up from limitless and you shooting you shooting from that deep and you dunking from the free throw line man it's gonna be almost impossible to defend somebody but like i said the rest of the community hey yes uh here we go hey limitless take off gone quick drops gone like i said famous i don't know if quick drops is gone i think that he's just hitting that that animation is gone you got your boy uh you got your boy crazy t saying yo it's finally here Hey, here we go. How are we supposed to score now? Please don't patch clamp breaker. Also, I need it. That's that's oh, that's fab right there. Okay, casual. You know, fab just trolling or what have you on that one, man. Uh, then uh, uh then you know, iPod King Carter. Hey, and then uh, Swante. You know, he's saying bring back this type of defense right here. I don't know if this type of defense was was as what? good as what? hold on hold on hold on. We got it. We got it. We got. It. Saying bring back this type of defense. I don't know if it was the defense itself was that effective in NBA 2K16 or if it was uh or if it was the fact that in uh in 2K16 you everybody had defensive stopper regardless of of what you had and defensive stopper was a very very tough badge it, it was all encompassing it was just everything it was clamps and clamps 
uh, what? Uh, it wasn't steals because we had pickpocket back then, but it was like clamps and all that stuff in one clamps intimidator pretty much everything would have what have you so that that's why i think you know the defense might have been better there hey he said dang it's about dang time hey limitless takeoff uh limitless takeoff become a takeover leak, 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 leak. if limitless takeoff was a takeover i don't think anybody have a problem with it man it is what it is hey brother jones say fix bully next man hey with, with the lebron out there with lebron the snitch mode and last but not least we're gonna say hey double a says mike Mike, when will you start your yearly news where you uh, where you reply to a bunch of questions or what have you? Now, he has not begun that yet, but we will see how that goes, man. Like I said, I don't think it's going to be a big deal because the last 2K where it was hard to dunk was uh, probably 2K20, and that's when everybody found the hop step. You, you, know, you go in there because if you tried to finish in there on 20 and, and somebody had... Um, which it don't matter what you had, but, but if somebody had chased down artists, it was really hard to score in there. You probably were getting blocked, especially if you had a low dunk rating or something like that in the 80s or what have you, low 80s or or high 70s or what have you, you're getting blocked. I got blocked almost every time. I couldn't dunk. So uh, that's, and that happens even now, but with limited takeoff, plus a high dunk rating, plus the way that they fix the dunks and the contacts and stuff like that, it, it's just going to be very difficult to stop somebody if they have, um if they've got that. So like I said, I think that uh, maybe Mike, maybe Mike was being a little cryptic right here with this, and it was just that this animation in particular is gonna be gone because, and and any animation that was tied to Limitless Takeoff is gonna be gone because that's what Limitless Takeoff does. So with that being out of the game, I don't know. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think that it's going to be better for the game, worse for the game, or what, man? I, I I don't know. I don't know which one is gonna be. I feel like it can only make the game better, but I don't know how the community is, gonna, is going to feel about it. Obviously, the vocal majority is gonna feel, yes, this is what we want, but I think it's a lot of people that are secretly Limitless Takeoff made over the last couple of years, and they are secretly crying about that, man. Like, Brute don't care. Like he said, shoot, you look at the dunks that he uses, he don't even hardly use Limitless Takeoff, any of that stuff. It, it well, doesn't pop like that for him. He was using, what, an 86 dunker? And he was getting buckets, so it is what it is. That's why I definitely gonna make my guy have 86 nugget from the beginning. And I'm gonna sacrifice some steel because I know they're gonna take stealing down or what have you. Up next, we got we talked about it, talking about the man, and he comes back. Apex is free, aka Gideon Prime. Truth chasers, man. This is something like here that we need to talk about, and I wish that we could talk about it more. Sorry if I'm bumping the mic, but it is what it is. Hey, a lot of people talk about the dribbling in the game, but this is what he's saying. The ball has to be tangible for me to take this game seriously. You do not have to protect the ball at all. All there is there are no dribble mechanics to keep the ball on the right side or the left side of your body to stay out of turnover situations. All right, and then he says too much cheating as well, <laughs> too much cheating as well. 2K has to come up with better model to translate difficulty. I believe I, I agree with that, which is which is a smack in the face. Ratings and badges are inconsequential. We are spending large amounts of money on ratings and badges just for the CPU to negate them at a moment's notice just to express shameless difficulty. Drop the mother f***ing mic on them. Hey, hey, I'm not sorry about that, Prime. I know you don't curse, man, so you know it is what it is. But hey, but I do, so it is what it is. That's how we hitting it. But listen, I, I agree with that, man. Like, uh, now he's talking about more about when you're playing my career and stuff like that, but the way that my career translates to online is, it, it sometimes is like the ball, you don't have to protect the ball at all. And, um, with the whole dribbling thing where everybody's having issues with somebody dribbling like this and like that, I feel like if the ball was more tangible, more of the time, it don't have to be tangible at all times, but we like, like in 2K17, they said the ball be tangible at all times. You can still dribble through people and stuff like that. But that was probably 20 and 17 were probably the last time that the ball was the most tangible most of the time. And you couldn't just do, just dribble into people's chest. Even in, even in 18, if you didn't have the highest dribbling, you weren't dribbling into somebody's chest. That's my only issue with the game that you can dribble with dribble into somebody's chest with impunity. And most of the time you either going to you have no fear of doing it. You either going to dribble through them or you're just going to skirt off them or what have you. So those are the things that I would like to see if we could get more bumps and make people afraid 
to just dribble into you. Like, like make a game, make it so that you have to maintain space, just like you have to do. Like we, we like to compare it to real life, but but like some aspects do translate, some real life aspects don't translate. But I feel like maintaining space while dribbling and taking the proper angles are things that will always translate in basketball. I hate to see when people just dribble straight into you and uh and they're rewarded for it, man. So, you know, it is what it is. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Uh, Limitless Takeoff is out of the game and by proxy that one animation for Quick Drops is gone. Quick Drops may not be gone, but I think he's just hitting that that animation is gone. And I'm going to holler y'all next time till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Also, I got the shirt on, but you can't really see. You can see the raccoon and all this stuff, but because of my green screen behind me, man, you know, you can't see it. But if you want to see it, hit up the site and I'll holler y'all next time. Peace. Guys, please, guys.